everyone welcome to english news bulletin of hallabol before moving to the details of the news let us have a look at the day's headlines Rahul Gandhi takes a dig on the Prime Minister Narendra Modi for non-bulletproof jacket for Jawans and rupees 8,400 crore plane for the Prime Minister. Congress to launch its 17th episode of most popular web series Dharohar on 11th of October. SDM Oshim Shah along with his team visited across the strait and carried out mask enforcement drive. Protesting against the horrifying rise in women-related crimes, All India Mahila Shanspritik Sangathan staged protest demonstration along with seven charter point demands. Now moving on to the details. Non-bulletproof truck for Jawans and rupees 8,400 crore plane for Prime Minister Rahul Gandhi takes a dig on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Sharing a video on Saturday targeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi showed some Indian soldiers sitting inside a truck, alleged that their officer was playing with their lives by sending them in a non-bulletproof truck. बहुत बेकार व्यवस्था है. पूरा गाड़ी का बाला दे रखा है. अपने बुलेटप्रूफ में जाता है वो सी इंस्पेक्टर और कंपनी को टीम को बोल देता नॉन बीपी में जाओ इन हिज ट्वीट राहुल गांधी रोट दैट द सोल्जर्स आर बीन सेंट टू बिकम मार्टियर्स इन नॉन बुलेटप्रूफ ट्रक्स व्हाइल द गवर्नमेंट हैज रुपीस 8400 करोड एयरक्राफ्ट फॉर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही आस्क्ड इज दिस जस्टिस राहुल गांधी फर्दर एक्यूज्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ऑन थर्सडे ओवर द एक्यूजेशन ऑफ वीवीआईपी एयरक्राफ्ट एंड वंडर्ड हाउ मेनी थिंग्स कुड हैव बीन बॉट फॉर द सोल्जर स्टेशनड इन शाचेन लद्दाख बॉर्डर इन द अमाउंट स्पेंट जबरदस्ती बोलने के बाद जो है उसके बाद जबरदस्ती थोपा जा रहा है की तुम जो है यहाँ बगावत कर रही है ये बात जो है बताने की कमांडर का काम है ठीक है कमांडर नहीं बताएगा तो हम अपना जिंदगी बर्बाद कर रहे हैं ना जी जान बुझ के कमांडर नहीं बोलेगा कमांडर को क्या जरूरत है बोलने का वो तो नहीं बोलेगा सेक्शन कमांडर को क्या करेगा सेक्शन को लेकर अपने उसी सब पांच आदमी को लेके अपना बीपी उसमें उसमें और दस आदमी जा सकता है कि नहीं ये पूरा सेक्शन को ले चले उसी में वहाँ जब रहता ही है एक बड़ा ट्रक एक अलग यहाँ जो जो मरने वाला है सबको छाट के भेज दिया जाओ मरो इसमें While campaigning in Punjab against the farm reform laws the Congress leader accused the Prime Minister of wasting thousands of crores of rupees on the aircraft tagging a media report which claimed that the public accounts committee has asked for permission from the Lok Speaker to go to Ladakh over delay in procuring clothing and equipment for Jawans stationed at the Shachin border Gandhi renewed his attack on Prime Minister over the aircraft accusation Better report. Hello, board. Congress to launch its 17th episode of most popular web series that has touched the hearts of many Indian nationals based all over the country as well as abroad. The episode will be launched at 11 a.m. morning on 11th of October at all the social media platforms of Indian National Congress. Indian National Congress to launch the 17th episode of Dharohar on 11th of October at 11 a.m. morning. The episode will be released at all the social media platforms of the Congress party. Rahul Gandhi and the Congress took the initiative to launch the video series Dharohar in order to allow the people of India to know about the country and its history. The 17th episode will be covering the Rowlett Act and the Satyagraha that arose because of it. It is to make the citizens of India aware about India's history with black laws. It needs to be mentioned here that the episodes of Dharohar are much popular all over the country and abroad and the Congress has collected much appreciation for this web series bureau report halabol 
Tripura Pradesh Congress issued official notification along with the details of the program that would be held as Mr. Kuljit Singh Nagra, MLA, Honorable in Charge AICC for Tripura, Nagaland and Sikkim, Permanent Invitory Member for the Congress Working Committee will visit the state on 11th of October and fly off on 12th of October. In a notice issued by the Tripura Pradesh Congress, the party officially announced that Mr. Kuljit Singh Nagra, MLA, Honorable in Charge, AICC for Tripura, Nagaland and Sikkim, Permanent Invitee Member of Congress Working Committee, will arrive in the state at Maharaja Bir Bikram Airport on 11th of October at around 11 a.m. His visit is in connection with the organizational matters and will reach the Congress Bhavan directly from airport and will hold meetings with the TPCC office bearers, TPCC members, BCC presidents, DCC presidents, head of the departments and other Congress leaders from 12 noon to 1 p.m. After having his lunch, Mr. Nagra will hold meeting with the ex-PCC, ex-MLAs, ex-ministers, ex-TPCC presidents, ex-CLP leaders, ex-chief minister, ex-MP and other. Later, after having a tea break and open time, Kuljit Singh Nagra will conduct his next meeting with the frontals on 12th of October from 10 to 11 a.m. Later, he will address a press conference organized at the Congress headquarters at around 11 a.m. and later fly off from the departure at 2 p.m. in the noon. In a tweet, Kuljit Singh Nagra also announced his visit to Tripura for the first time. As an active leader of the Indian National Congress, his presence will help to rejuvenate the Congress. Much enthusiasm could be felt between the Pradesh Congress members and supporters following his visit. Bureau report, Halabol. SDM Oshim Shah, along with his team, visited across the state and carried out mask enforcement drive, imposed fine for not wearing masks and not maintaining social distancing protocols. After the state government decided to observe every Saturday of this month as Mask Enforcement Day across the state, Saturday, SDM Shadar Oshim Shah, along with his other officials, carried out massive drive at various places of Agatala city and across the state. This decision of Mask Enforcement Day came after Chief Secretary Manoj Kumar issued a notification which stated that despite repeated appeals, a large number of people have not been wearing masks at all and not maintaining social distancing protocols. Speaking on the similar issue, Tripura government spokesperson and minister Rotal Nalnath said, besides enforcement against violation of COVID norms, the state government has decided to begin a serological survey to ascertain the prevalence of antibodies against COVID-19 among the masses. The drive fines amounting to rupees 3.5 crore has been collected. Nath added that since the Durga Puja days are approaching, people have begun shopping on full swing. That leads to a fear that during the Puja days, violation of COVID norms would be much higher. Talking to the media on the day's massive drive of mask enforcement, as DM Shadar Oshim Shah said, we are acting according to the instructions of the state government and chief secretary's order. The people who are found not wearing masks have been fined to rupees. 200 for the first time and rupees 400 the second time. Also, fine up to rupees 1000 has been imposed on the shopkeepers for not maintaining social distancing protocols. Social distancing maintained. Kora. Ete after a janan, Shasto Bidi Dishabe, the Corona virus, Shankraman Jata Nachora Tebare, Tarjana Dutu Kodan Amade, Taj Ekola Max Pora, Evan social distance maintained. Kora. Evan? Eisen maintain kora mani bar bar hat dua. Oti 20 minute or toba 30 minute er modde ek bar hat dui na. Jate kore kuno kijo amade mukhe na lagi. All the Saturdays of the whole month, the administration will continue this drive to ensure that the people get aware and maintain the COVID guidelines. Bureau report. Halabol. Protesting against the horrifying rise in women-related crimes, rapes and domestic violence across the state as well as the country, All India Mahila Sanskritik Shangatan staged protest demonstration along with seven charter point demands. According to the National Crime Records Bureau of India, reported incidents of crime against women increased 6.4% during 2012 and a crime against women is committed every three minutes. India is considered to be one of the world's most dangerous countries for sexual violence against women. 
where rape is one of the most common crimes in India. According to NCRB reports, one woman is raped every 20 minutes in India. Every day, cases of rape are increasing at an alarming rate in the country. Although rapes are becoming more frequently reported, many go unreported as well or have the complaint files withdrawn due to perception of the family owner being compromised. Saturday, All India Mahila Shanskritik Shangatan Tripura State Organizing Committee organized a protest demonstration in the city claiming seven prime demands. They said women in the country are not at all safe these days and the Hathras incidents few days back proves the same. The women protesting on roads along with various placards alleged in the last few months in the places like Dharmanagar, Vishalgar, Melaghar, Kaila Shahar, Udaipur and areas of Agartala city, several incidents of crime against women and rape has been registered. But very few are the cases when the accused persons got arrested. In many cases, cases are also not registered by the police. No punishment are given to the accused in the first track court. In the protest demonstration, State Secretary of the organization AIMSS, Shefali Devnath, said, We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. আমাদের সংগঠন যে জায়গায় আছে আমাদের শক্তি অনুযায়ী আমরা প্রতিবাদ করছি among the seven charter point demands the organization demanded immediate punishment of the four accused persons in the up's hatras incident also demanded punishment for the police brutality applied in hatras incident and provide justice to the family of the victim demanded strict punishment for the accused involved in women related crime and violence the accused should be provided immediate punishment by a hearing at the fast track court the organization further demanded that the state government should ensure that the FIRs are taken in the police stations against the complaints of women related crimes bureau report halabol well that's all from the english desk at this moment for more news and updates stay tuned to halabol